Hello everyone and welcome to Wendy's Way. Today's installment about my passion for fiber. I thought I would just show you a few of the things I've crocheted that are actually still in our house. Most everything I crochet is a gift or part of a ministry and makes its way somewhere else. <laughs> uh, Thought we'd start with just a few of the things here and I could tell you a little bit about it so you can kind of get an idea of what I do. Uh, here, the gray tan and camel. It's pretty much a granny square stitch. Started off, it was just going to be a big blanket. I had never used this color changing yarn before and so I grabbed what skeins they had and just started working with it to find out what it felt like and what it looked like. It is an acrylic yarn, something I bought probably at Walmart, something of the like, and it started out, it was going to be a blanket. I got inspired by something I saw on YouTube and I ended up making a sweater of sorts out of it. In the middle you see something that I have just done tons and tons of, and these are dish rags. I have used lots and lots of peaches and cream cotton. You can get it pretty affordably. The cone that you see in the back and the pretty blues and greens is a 14 ouncer. Typically they run 14 to 16, depending on what they had in supply. So I just call them pounders. Anyhow, the stitch that I use for dish rags is a Tunisian crochet stitch and we'll show more on that later. It looks like crochet. It's something that you work on the front and it looks different on the front and the back. It works really well as a dish rag um, partly because it's 100% natural cotton, partly because you get these scrubbies on the back because the texture is different than the front. The cotton dish rags that I make, I find when I use them, you can wring them out, hang them on the sink, and they don't take on that sour smell. You can use them several days before you need to throw them in the wash if that's how you choose to do things, which I typically do. I try to be as economical as possible. This square that you see in the back is also this 100% cotton. It was made using an entire cone of peaches and cream cotton, a pound of it. I started crocheting this from a pattern stitch I saw on Juana's crochet page. She's in my subscription list. She's one of my highlighted channels. I listen to Juana all the time. She's simply amazing. So I started off with this awesome stitch that she showed. You know, you go round and round like you do with a granny stitch blanket or something. But it's a front post, worked with a front post treble. And I just love the way it looked. It's gorgeous on the front and on the back. And I thought I'd make a blanket because we have so many babies in our church to make blankets for. See, it even looks beautiful on the back. Almost intentional. Anyway, I went through the entire cone and I've only got like a 24 inch by 24 inch mat. So I put an edging on it and it is the perfect bath mat. This lives outside my shower. It's nice and thick. It's cotton so it's absorbent. It's soft. Um, it's just excellent. And again, you know, it doesn't gather that sour I've been wet smell like a lot of fabrics will. Perfectly washable, of course, and uh, I just, I love it. But if you're going to buy an entire cone, a pound, if you're going to use that stitch, just be comfortable with only a 24 by 24. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, this here, I had some leftover yarn from a baby blanket that I made for a little tiger named Titan. And I... <laughs> it's a sweater of sorts. It's kind of a vest. I'm not going to hold it up and show it to you, but basically you stitch a bunch of granny squares together and you make a tank top out of it. I just thought the yarn was gorgeous. And so it's something that I made for myself. 
Most everything that I keep here at the house, it's something that didn't grow as large as I wanted it to. I didn't have enough yarn to make it as large as I wanted it to, or I'm simply using up scraps that I have used to make things for other people. This is probably the, my favorite piece that I have ever, ever made. I made it years ago um, when we were traveling. It's shortly after I learned how to read crochet patterns. Everything to that point had just kind of been off the cuff. And this was a doily pattern with the regular number 10 cotton and a small steel crochet hook. This was patterned to make an 18 inch doily. And I just thought it was gorgeous. It's the first time I'd done any pineapple, any time I'd really worked much in the round. And I wasn't comfortable yet with a tiny hook and thread. So I picked up a cone of cotton yarn like the peaches and cream I just showed you. And I think this one took approximately a pound and a half of the peaches and cream. I just love the edging on it. It was so wavy and everything. I really didn't know how it would look. But when I got done and I laid it out, it ended up, this is like a 36 inch round. And it's just, I think, the perfect tablecloth for this little bistro table. We play board games every day. I've got an AC Ducey game that sits on this table <laughs> in the entryway in our home. My husband and I play every day, but this is my favorite piece, just made out of cotton, learning how to follow a pattern. And it likely took me months to actually complete. The last thing I think I'm gonna show you today, this is the current baby blanket that I'm working on. It is for baby Ray and uh, she's expected mid-February I believe this blanket is probably the largest baby blanket that I've made um, I'm not quite done with it as you can tell I am working on the border I think it's probably going to be at least four feet long and three feet wide and it is one of many baby blankets that I have made with ice yarns. I am a reseller of ice yarns and I'm inexperienced at editing video and with YouTube, but I'll do my level best to get a link to my web store so you can look at ice yarns. This yarn in particular, when I look at the camera, it appears to be quite orange, but technically it is coral and pink and camel and white and ice yarns I believe this is called magic baby let me see if I can get a look at it here magic baby again yep and approximately a hundred grams most of the ice yarns come in packages you don't buy it by the skein you buy it by the package and a typical package, depending on the fiber content, is 400 grams of yarn. This being the largest baby blanket I've done, it's a very soft acrylic. Very soft. I'm just so excited about the feel of it and the colors of it and the way that it's turning out. Um... I will have used, by the time I finish this skein, this is the eighth skein, so 800 grams, eight skeins of yarn, and I don't know the exact conversion. This is 360 meters, so maybe in the comments I can convert that to yards and let you know. It is a, a lightweight yarn. It is suggested that you use... If I had my glasses on, I could tell you. Oh, let's see if we can focus here. A four millimeter hook is what is suggested. I'm using a five and a half, um, primarily because 
I, I crochet quite tightly. I have a lot of tension in my crochet. Um, little OCD overfloweth and I can't just let things be loose. Um, afraid that they won't be consistent and come out the way I'd like them to, but, uh, I'll finish this up. I'll try and throw a photograph into the comments when it's done. But um, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you had, I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe to Wendy's Way and hit the little bell to be notified when we come out with new content. As always, we are so appreciative of your time. Glad that you've came and spent a few moments with us and pray that you have a glorious 2019. God bless.